I'm so glad you are here. <laughs> For the folks at home who I don't know, if you would introduce yourself. My name is Julie Anderson. Now, do you know why I did that? Why? Because I always forget people's names, and that's my sloppy way of getting that done. But Julie, you tell me that even a guy like me, even a guy like me, can retrain the way their mind works to remember stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, where do we begin? <laughs> well, we start by understanding that the traditional way that we've been taught to remember things mm -hmm. is not necessarily the way the brain likes. So what we have to do, the recent scientific research shows that the brain actually likes remembering things better by visualizing okay. or by connecting a picture to something. All right. So it also remembers things that are already embedded. So if you connect that picture to something, to a pattern or a habit that you already have, then that helps you recall that picture even that much easier. I went on a bus ride in Hawaii one time. There were about 25 of us on the bus. And by the time we reached our destination, the guy that was hosting this thing on the bus memorized everyone's name on the bus. So you're saying he was connecting some kind of visual clue to the name? Most likely he probably was. Whether he realized it or not, he probably was. All right, give me a test. What are we going to do? Okay, How's we're going to use a grocery list as, as an example. Okay. A lot of times we think of something as we're driving home or driving to work. Oh, then I need to pick up at the grocery store. Yeah. And then when you actually get there, you wind up buying three or four or five things that weren't even in your mind to begin with. And I always forget the one thing the that one led thing. me to the store. <laughs> yeah. And you don't realize that till you arrive home. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these eight grocery items. I'm going to tell you a little mini movie, and I'm going to have you visualize the movie as I'm telling it to you and connect it to something that I do every day, okay? Okay, let's do it. All right. So we start out, I throw my feet out of bed in the morning, and I go to put my slippers on, and instead of slippers, what is it? Loaves of bread. You put your loaf. All right, so at my, at my feet are loaves of bread. Now visualize me walking towards the bathroom. I go to open the door, or go to the bathroom door, uh -huh. and streaming down the, the bathroom door is a waterfall of milk. So milk is the okay. second item on the grocery list. I was going to go for Gatorade. But you go, okay, <laughs> got it. Loaves of bread, feet, okay. milk streaming down from the bathroom. On, on the door, on the door on of the, the door. bathroom. I go to open the door of the bathroom, mm -hmm. and what's there but peanut butter all over the door handle. Peanut butter, bathroom door handle. Got all it. over the door yeah. handle. You walk into the into the bathroom, open the bathroom door, all over the floor are a bunch of almonds. Almonds on the bathroom floor. Almonds, Check. Almonds, by the way, good source of vitamin E for the brain. Good to know. Okay, so now I need to wash my hands off mm -hmm. because I got peanut butter on them. So right. I go to the sink, only in the sink is a bunch of blueberries. Right, that's not going to be good for the hands. No, but another great thing for the brain. Uh -huh. So what yeah. do I do? I reach for the towel rack. Yeah. Instead of a towel hanging on the towel rack, there's a roll of toilet paper. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I turn around and see in my bathtub a bunch of bunny rabbits eating carrots. Okay. Okay. What were you smoking before this movie started? <laughs> the more, the more, uh, the more, of, the more strange, the more it's going to stick. Bunny in rabbits, right. bathtub, eating carrots. Right. Got it. Then I open the door to the closet and I reach for my house coat. Only my house coat is made out of lettuce. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. House coat of lettuce. Yes. Got it. So now what you do is you want to put that that little movie in your head, okay. as strange as it may sound. And then later, when you go into the grocery store, you're going to remember the eight items. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Put you to Here, the test. Are you ready? You? Here we go. You can do it. All right. Uh, we've got bread because of loaves of bread. And then I go, and then there's milk coming down because of the milk. Uh, and then I go, and there's peanut butter, and there's peanut butter. And then, oh my gosh, there are almonds on the floor, almonds. And then, and then I go, and there are uh, uh, um, almonds on the floor. I turn to the sink, and there are berries in the sink. And uh, uh, um, I, I go to wash my hands, but there's a no paper towel, so I'm using toilet paper. And then, what, what are the freaking bunnies doing in the tub? <laughs> and, the carrots, and there are carrots. And I feel like I'm leaving something out. I'm, no, am, am I missing something? What my house coat. What's on my house coat? Oh, and your house coat's made of lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 What was your name again? <laughs> Oh, so you gave me this, uh, yourbestmindonline.com. We're going to link that to Good Day Sacramento. Anything else I was supposed to talk about that I forgot about? I have an amazing event coming up this Friday night and Saturday, all day Saturday, and you can check it out. It's on the website. It's my mind-blowing, life-transforming weekend. And my memory exists at gooddaysacramento.com, so go there. Back to you guys. I like it. <laughs>